You are watching Business Access TV. Business Access. Business Access. Business Access. Business Access. Business Access. You are watching Business Access TV. Business Access TV. Serious. Serious about business. Serious about business. Since 1999, the Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run has been contributing millions of dollars to the health and welfare of Jamaican children. The event has become the largest 5K in the Caribbean and thousands of people converge in New Kingston to participate in this event. Business Access TV is here and I'm Javon Keys and my co-host Jamela Maitland will join us a little later on. As you can tell, the sun is already out and the race is already underway. What was the extent of planning that went into ex executing an event like this? <laughs> We've been planning Sigma for about a year now. Um, the last three weeks were probably the most hectic of all. But you know, we have over 300 volunteers that contribute to the success of this, um, including our sponsors. The group marketing department is the is the engine behind Sigma Run and. I mean, it's the hardest job we do all year, but it's the most rewarding as well. As you can imagine, there are several lists of persons who are in need. And um, basically, the Sajikor Foundation Board eventually makes the ultimate decision. But the decision is made mostly on the need of each of the beneficiaries, the, who has the greatest need. Um, we also focus, we tend to focus a lot on health and the health of children um, for the Sigma Run. So over the years, we've supported a lot of neonatal units, a lot of companies or uh, hospitals that support children as well. So that is a major part of the decision making uh, when it comes to choosing the beneficiaries. But the ultimate decision is made by the board of the Sajiko Foundation. The rest to our heart, I think, this year is the Lupus Foundation. Our start line MC died from lupus. And so we, we felt that the Lupus Foundation would have been a good beneficiary to have this year. The Diabetes Foundation is also one of our beneficiaries. We don't pay a lot of attention to diabetes in Jamaica. Um, so we decided to, that they would be also a good option you know, for us to support. They need the support, they need some backing. And the Maypen Hospital Neonatal Unit, uh, we have been there, we visit the hospitals and we have seen the I wouldn't call it deplorable, but there is great need in our public health system. And so I think, you know, those are all very deserving charities this year and Sajikor is happy to stand behind them. I think we did a pretty good execution. We had a, we had a clean execution. Um, I can't complain. There is no way to avoid the hours. Uh, we try our best. I mean, every year we try to do something a little different, set up the start line a little earlier, you know. Um, but we have a lot of support. We have a lot of support from our sponsors. We have a lot of support from the technical people around us. Um, I think we did a pretty smooth, not perfectly flawless, but we did a very good execution. We're proud of what we did. We're happy. We, we're happy it's over. Um, 27,000 people registered here, the most in the history of Sigma. And we've also raised the most we've ever raised, 52 odd, odd, odd million for our charities, so we're pleased. We think we did a good job. You can still donate. Um, you can visit the Sajikor Sigma Run website, um, or you can call the Sajikor Foundation, 1-888-SAJIKOR, and ask how you can donate. That is the number for our contact care center. They will put you onto the Sajikor Foundation, and you can still make a donation after today. So with me now is one of the celebrity faces for the Sigma Corporate Run, Mr. Johan Blake. How are you, sir? I'm feeling good this morning. So share with us, why did you choose to contribute to the Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run? You know, the first time I contributed, Sajikor made the highest money, and they know that I have good luck, so they brought me back. And I'm here not just because of that, but to save life. It's a great cause for me to walk with Sajikor on this long journey. So what would you say to other persons who may be thinking about contributing? I said, don't think, just act. Thanks for staying tuned to BATV's coverage of the Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run 2019, the largest 5K in the Caribbean. Stay tuned for more happenings.
we're here with Dayton Lawton, who was one of the very first contestants um, to finish the race. Um, what was your perception going into the race? Well, I do this race every year, and uh, I'm always happy to do it. I think Saji Flora is doing a great job growing the race every year. Um, it's 27,000 contestants ran this year. The management was great, and I, I felt good running this race today. Chris and the CEOs of Saji in the past have always been very astute about what they're doing with the money. So it's not just giving to a cause and you don't find out how these funds are actually being utilized. You shared a story about going to the hospital and giving them ventilation machines for infants and it's always very important to understand how your money is benefiting the community. What would you say to somebody who probably missed it this year, Sajiko? If you missed it and you can't be here, I would say still contribute. You don't necessarily need to run, but if you can, have, if you have an opportunity to give, give towards the cause. So how was the race? Apart from the bobbing and weaving, it was absolutely wonderful. You can see we're out of breath. <laughs> So tell us, why was it important for you and your team to come out to support the Sigma Corporate Run? It's a part of our corporate social responsibility. We believe in giving back. Um, we sell gas and we rely on the public to support our business and we believe in giving back. So we thought this was a worthy cause to do that. Well, uh, this is my fifth time doing Sigma and I didn't really train, but it was okay. Yeah, start at Jamaica. And you? I um, started Jamaica. It was fun, and even though it's my first time, I enjoy it a lot. The run was wonderful. Um, it's my once a year exercise, and I've been doing this for the past five years. I think it was good, so that's it for my exercise for the year. It's my first time, and it's a really great experience. You know, um, I'm, I'm a track and field athlete, so I'm just preparing for a wonderful season. Adults are not the only persons who participate in Sajikoi's Sigma Corporate Run. We also have the children. Could you tell Mazida, what do you think about the race? I think it was long and it was very tiring, but I managed to finish. You're here with your siblings. What do they think of the race? Well, I was, it was tiring. I do track and field, but this was really exhausting and my legs hurt now. So. Nice. What was your position in the race? Do you know? Well, the race was all right. But I gave up a few. I gave up a few times, but I still made it. Nice, thank you. Hi guys, they're representing the Jamaicans for justice. How was the race for you? You know, it was alright. A bit disappointed this year, but you know, next year, next year we're coming back bigger and better. Time of about 37. Not feeling too happy about that, but you know, you know, still good, still good, still good. How about you? Well, it was good, you know, but I was expecting sub 30, but 33, 42. Could have been better though. Of course, and the fact that we're supporting the, um, the hospital project, um, I have to be running today because we're running for a cause. We all ran for justice today. And of course, I, I, I know my time is going to be very impressive. It's below 30. I'm not quite sure what the time is just far. But of course, um, we came out and we ran for justice. And I'm very pleased with that today. Foundation will be one of the beneficiaries of um, the Sajikor Sigma Run um, this year. You know, what do you think of something like that? It's awesome. Like every year they go for something different. And this year we're doing this for Elvar, we're doing this for the people who lost the fight and who's still going on and still pushing basically. What do you um, say to somebody who probably doesn't know uh, much about, you know, Sajikor Cover Run and the beneficiaries and what it is that they're going for? You know, what would you tell somebody? Even if you don't run, just go ahead, pay the money, make a donation, buy something. Like my lace, I just went ahead and just bought the shoelace, just because. Tell us what you thought about the race. So it was a very, very good race and I really appreciated it. It's always good to run for charity because helping other persons, that's the way to go, you know? And it was a really good race for me. I really did more than I, what I expected. So it's an awesome one. Going into the race, you know, what was your perception and what do you think after? Uh, funnily enough, I, I thought it was, this was a 5K and I, at the end I realized it was a 5.5. So at that point I was really, really beat. But you know, it was an awesome feeling and it's, it's great to be supporting this cause. Big ups to Sajikor. I look forward to the next 5K. You were one of the top um, running athletes last year. You know, what was your perception coming into the race this year? Well, I didn't think I was going to make it, honestly, but I decided I really wanted to do it and to do it better. 
But I thought that this year the race seemed shorter, so I, don't, I must have got some extra energy, which I don't know what it came from, where it came from. The race is more like a fitness for you, or is it something that you know, you'd know normally do every year? I've done it three years. This is my third year, but I, I, I do a lot of walking every day, every day. So did you actually run with the babies on you like this? About 2.5 Ks. Look what it says here. Was that daddy's cardio? Yeah. All right, so what do you think about the race? It was fabulous. Um, the water stops were a strategic place. Uh, everything went well. First time for the babies, about the fifth time for me. That was a short bit from some of the runners and walkers here at the 2019 Sajikor Sigma Run. Stay with us for more highlights. So as you would imagine, a number of groups would have come out to participate in the 2019 Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run. We're about to hear from some of them. All right, so Jason, what size team you have here today? Did the whole office come out? Well, uh, approximately 50% of our staff, we have in excess of 30 people here today from JAA. Great, so why was it important for you guys to come out and support this cause? Well, for one, um, JN Group overall has been a long-standing supporter of Sigma and the Jamaica Automobile Union Association. Um, we specialize in mobility and moving people, so we want to ensure that our people are moving as well. How is this in line with your corporate social responsibility? Well, we are about giving back and the cause, the whole Sigma is about giving back, so it falls in line with what we are about. So with me now is Suzette Morrison, she's the team captain with the Sinker Group. So tell us, why was it important for Sinker to participate in the Sigma Corporate Run 2019? Well, the Sigma Corporate Run signifies helping other companies and helping the sick and needy. And with Sinker being the innovators, we always, always want to ensure that we play our corporate role and a corporate social responsibility to be a part of the good. So did you run this morning? No, unfortunately, it was I, I was here setting up to ensure that the team was okay. And they came out, you know, 150 strong. We came out and we participated and they had fun. This definitely is a worthy cause and giving back is an important thing for corporate companies such as ourselves. So participation and support for the, you know, the obvious cause is very important. Seems like you have a very large team. What's the number? I think we're over 120. They're about. For me, it was a walk in the park. <laughs> very easy. Very easy. How important was it for you to participate in this run? Well, we do it for a cause. We do it every year. And we think it is extremely relevant at this time. Plus, it also helps us to remain healthy. All right, so there you have it from some of our educators representing the JTA here at the Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run 2019. So after having such an early start this morning, Jamila and I were just getting a chance to catch up. So from what I've been seeing, the race has been going very good. There are thousands of people out. It's probably the largest year um, of Sigma corporate run because for the years I've been seeing it, every year it gets bigger and better, right Jam? A little birdie actually told me that it's actually 27,000 persons who registered and they might have even passed their $52 million mark. Well, but that's great because you know, Sajikor Sigma corporate run is all about corporate social responsibility and helping to ensure the welfare of our nation's children. So it's always a great cause. Number of companies out, a number of groups, a number of individuals. We saw persons from different ages, from very small to very old and you know, they're going. So it was a good day, wouldn't you agree? Of course it was, it really, I can't believe. I think the entire Jamaica is here right now at Emancipation Park. Certainly Jam, it was an extraordinary morning. Though we had to wake up very early to be here, yes. it was great, right? It was, it was, it really was. All right, so we're gonna take a break right now and then we're gonna head to the stage to see our winners for the 2019 Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run. Stay tuned. So Miss Walker, tell us, why does Sajikor keep doing this every single year, since 1999? 
So it has been 21 years that Slash Girl Foundation has been solidly behind the charities to really give back. Healthcare is a big thing for our brand and we always want to find and identify those needs that really have a big impact on Jamaican lives. So this year we've identified the Diabetes Foundation of Jamaica, Lupus Foundation of Jamaica and also the Maven Hospital, specifically the neonatal intensive care unit. Have you been seeing the impact of the contributions you've been making? Oh yes, we have. Certainly over the years we've made so many different contributions to various different um, sectors in the health um, area. And also in terms of children, we do support children causes as well. Um, last year we supported St. Christopher's Home for the Deaf, we supported the Spanish Town Hospital. So we try to touch every single you know, pocket of the Ministry of Health as well too, because that is a major area that really impacts a lot of Jamaicans' lives on a daily basis. So, first of all, I would ask, why focus on children? I mean, the children are the future. It's cliche, but it's actually real. If we actually focus on our children and we actually focus on the future and making that future so much better, brighter for our children. Now, we can't be selfish. We always have to continue to pay it forward and so that we know that Jamaica will be a better place. So how do you rate 2019 for the Sajikora Sigma run? Oh God, 2019 has been amazing, it has been awesome, it has been off the chain. So this year we've broken two records. So last year we had a record breaking 26,000 participants. This year we've got up to 27,000 persons. Um, and also we shattered our record in terms of the target. So our target last year was 50 million, this year it's 52. And we went over a bit, so we did 52 million. $400,000. So we are absolutely proud as a team to be able to give back so much to Jamaica. Certainly. So what can we expect for 2020? I mean, we're going to start planning right now. And, you know, in true Sajiko or strong style, we're going to come bigger, we're going to come better. And we're always going to be looking for that next needy cause. And there's so many causes in Jamaica that need the funding and need the support. So look out for us, we're coming. Congratulations to the winner. All Bonso calling in. How does it feel to become the first place winner for the male wheelchairers in the Sajagor Sigma run this year? It's a great feeling, but I've been um, Sigma for a couple of years now. So to be you know, the winner this time around again, it's a wonderful feeling. And I'm happy I'm doing it for you know, a worthy class and so forth. So that's why I try to push out the necessary effort to be here. Put your hands together. Sylvia, we're for a long time. Long time, Sylvia. Congratulations. You placed first this year and last year. Five years in a row. So tell me how does that feel? Now? What kind of what what level of training or intensity of the training does it feel? We we have a cart where we run, we push it like we're on and run it in the grass every day. How important is it for you know persons to participate in runs like these? It's good because when we're out there, people can see us and see that anything they can do, we can do it too. Um, describe to us, you know, what's the feeling becoming the first place winner of this year's Sajik or Sigma Run? It's a great feeling and this is my second year doing it. Would you describe to us, you know, what was the run in general, you know, what, what did you like about it, what you didn't like about it? I like the, the fun run part, we have the foam and all those stuff and the fact that we're supporting charity. So yeah, it was a good run. What was your time? 19 minutes and 2 seconds. Man overall, this time, ridiculous. 19 minutes, 32 seconds. Well, look up, okay, please, I came fourth overall and second for corporate. Just give me a, I represent a Separate Limited, and this is not my first event, but it's and a wonderful Jehovah. event. I enjoyed it. We are here with Odin Davidson, the first place winner in the under 16 category. Tell us how does it feel? Um, it is hard. Yeah, very hard. And yeah, I get some um, competition in it, and yeah, it was a good race. Is this your first time doing it and what's your time? Um, I don't know my time yet, but it's not the first time I'm doing it. My name is Anna K. Swaby and I'm representing Chisel Fit and I came first in a female walk. How was that for you? It was, I'm going to be honest with you, it was a bit challenging, but I managed to maneuver the crowd and came first. So it was very good, but challenging. So clearly this isn't your first time doing a 5K walk, because it's take a particular technique, right? No, it hasn't been my first 5K, but my first Sigma. And my goal was just come here, come first. But, that was it. But separate and apart from you coming to um, compete, I'm sure there must be another reason why you came here to represent. Of course there's another reason. The number one reason, of course, is doing it for the cause. That's the most important thing. So me coming first is just a bonus, right? So I just 
going out there, doing what I can do for those persons who can't do it themselves. And hoping that I inspire somebody else to come on out and support the cause. So you said this was your first year. Will we see you next year? Of course. <laughs> So I know that this is something that you do. We saw you at the um, True Juice Orchards last year and you're here again. How, how was this one for you? Well, this one was a record break when you um, walk for me. You know, I'm improving each year and I really came out here to get the record of 28 minutes. I did it and I'm very happy. I'm looking for greater things. You know, I want to see myself out there representing Jamaica internationally. This is my third year winning it also. The first year, 2017, I did 30 minutes, last year 29, this year 28. So you will you be back next year? Definitely. All things been well. All right, thank you so much and congratulations. So, as much as we didn't get a chance to run, we actually finished the race, right, Jam? We did, we did. So that brings us to the end of our 2019 coverage of the Sagicore Sigma Corporate Run. I've been your host, Javon Keys. And I'm Jamila Maitland. And you've been tuned into Business Access TV, serious, serious about, about business. business.